All right, so here we are back at it again for another daily upload. And uh, today we're looking at week four, day three, a tragic camera malfunction with the band of storms. So as every other AIC day, we uh, start off the morning with a circle up. And at this particular circle up, we heard some of the rules for the six way capture the flag. All six houses would be playing together for that morning. So here's that. Then, after hearing the whole set of rules, we headed off into the realm to play. And we played for, I think, about two full hours, maybe two and a half. But the one thing that I uh, discovered after reviewing all my footage when I got home is that my uh, my GoPro mount on my helmet uh, was angled <laughs> conspicuously down. So you got a really good view of the floor and not really anything else. Uh... But in the last 15 minutes of the game, I decided to pull it on every single piece of my armor and defend our territory and try to keep hold of the last couple of flags we had. Um, and so when I put on my helmet, I just sort of adjusted the camera mount on instinct and I fixed it. And so the last 15 minutes have some pretty good, well angled, running around in full armor video. But the whole rest of the game, you just can't see anything. So I didn't even bother. Um, for the whole rest of the game, I was essentially a respawn counselor. So I was stuck at our spawn, at our base, and running respawn every two minutes. Uh, I did get a chance for the rest of the stuff, so the stuff you won't see. We saw a lot of really big raiding parties come in and try to rush us. But we pretty much just repelled all of them. Uh, there was one near the end that took back all of our trophy flags, so the ones that we had captured from other houses, but we got back a lot of them. So we were uh, very, very secure in our victory. Well, in our uh, flag capturing ability, let us say. So there's that. Are you seriously? I'm going to put everything on, yeah. We'll see how it goes. It might be really sweaty, but... Close to the end of the game, 15 minute call, but I'm gonna throw everything out. Are you from Hikaru? Yep. Gray Mountain has been placed. Where's Hikaru's base? I'm just gonna start finding that. I don't know. Hold on. So, are you able to go get Arco's flag? Me? Uh, in in a minute and 40 seconds. Why? I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did you start it? I 
Oh, that works. It's a little bit cheat ski doodles, but uh, I don't care. Did you point. see those respawn points? Got a speeder bike? What is it? Yeah. Plastic or same type of relic in there. Uh, just waterproof. All right. Oh wait. I Are you bullying things with that stuff on? Uh, in theory, yes. I mean, except for like daggers and bludgeons and stuff, but no swords can do that. There are no gaps. I think. <laughs> Is there Nine, a eight, seven, no, I think that curved. Six, five, four, three, two, let's go. All right, all right. Go out and get another one. We got another one. Hey, bro, look what I found. Oh, we got two coming back. <laughs> let's go. No, that is such a powerful flag. Yeah. Yeah. Minotaur sword. It's a bludgeon. Dead. Hey, Grayson. Yep. Is it okay if I took the Minotaur sword? Dead. Totally. Use it. Use it. Oh, does that have any bit? Oh, he's got to die. Watch out. Teddy. No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Wait, did yellow get their flag back? Do we only have one flag? We have we have, we have to go after Hart. We have to get the three back. Well, we get the three back. Well, no, I to to be a unanimous decision to sell it or give it away. There, there's six minutes left. Six minutes left. Is my timer up? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You're unkillable. What? Well, daggers can get me, yeah, but no, no vanguards at all. No swords, no one-handed swords. Yeah, I just went up. I just went up. Respawn. Yeah. You need to kill the minotaur. Wait, actually, yeah. Where? What's the timer at? Oh. Yo, hide, hide the thing. Hide the thing. Uh, just respawn. Just respawn. Charlie, I think he's a little bit. Where's my weapon? Charlie. Have you seen an extra? Charlie. I mean, where are my weapons? No. Where are my swords? Oh my God. Are you alive? Oh, that's hard, that's hard. Hey, what? Oh, hurt. Oh, hurt. Okay, kill her. We got her. What you doing? What? Are you alive? No, I'm dead. Okay. okay. I'm just looking for an arrow. Uh, oh, the one that went in the bushes? Oh, did it go in the bushes? I uh, probably did. I think it went down further that way, though. No! How long did it take you to make that? Are you alive? All right, then, uh, hello. Please don't. I'm sorry for your loss. There's nothing you can do. How long did it take you to get Three years. I have a helmet on, fool. If I could get a, a clean underneath the foot shot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean clean? What do you think? If you think I do one of those. Of those. <laughs> that that battle move that I do so often. Go back here! Oh no. Sir. I'm sorry for your loss. Why did you that. pick up a vanguard? <laughs> what, like, what point is that? I just gotta pin this down. It literally won't do anything. <laughs> like you. Now's your chance, kids. <laughs> while, while his guard is down, you can get him. 
Hello. Oh, here's a dagger. Hey, we still got the most people in the proximity. That's true. What? Oh, I can help you, Dutch Grace. Grace, are you dead? No, I'm still alive. Oh, is, there, is there fighting happening over here? Get him! Get him! What the? What the? Get him! Kill him! Kill him! I got him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Wait, have you not Do it! It's too close! Yeah, you are too close, though. You're shooting someone else. Also, I killed you. Was that in her arm? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Keep fighting. No, I killed him. I killed you. You can't kill him. Guys, we need help! Back up! Oh. Ah. Can you go retrieve my arrow? I'm dead. Oh, yeah, you can go. You can go. He's back, he's back! No, he's the back. armor! I try my best, man. I don't have any armor. Um, uh, uh, do you want to call a double? Yeah. Alright. Keep yeah. getting him! No, that's the best I, I'm out of. Then, after that last clip, the game ended, and we uh, walked our way all the way back to Game Start. So, because Game Start is, like, quite a distance away, we are the... Uh, we're, we we walk about halfway across the whole realm, and it's not as bad as the noble house of Sanglier, who literally has to cross the entire realm to get back. It takes him like 25 minutes to get back, just because it's so far on this particular map. But uh, because we were spending all this time walking back, I completely forgot to start recording when we were actually doing the points tally. Uh, I only recorded the aftermath of it. So here is just my explanation to you of the points tally so um hakarl my house the noble house of hakarl we ended up capturing more flags than any other team but <clears throat> the way that this particular game mode worked is that the capture flags were worth two points each and the territory flag so wooden stakes with uh um, flag cutouts uh drilled onto them those are stationed at every single territory. And if you stay with your fighters there till the very end of the game, uh, your team gets to collect that territory flag, take it back to your base, and it counts as one point. Um, the reason why it counts as less is because you don't have to fight your enemies to get it. You can just get there and stand there and then get it. Uh, as with the capture flags, you literally have to go in and capture it from another team. Um Hakarl definitely won the day as far as capture flags go. We got four, and our runner-up was Arco with three capture flags. But Hakarl completely forgot about having to capture territory flags. And so the one territory flag we did get was actually just our spawn starting base. And so our four capture flags totaled eight points, plus our one territory flag for nine points. And we tied... For Arco with three capture flags totaling six points, plus their three territory flags totaling nine. So nine, nine tie. And so to decide that, we had a duel. So both of the houses, the house of Ar Arco, I believe, and our house of Hakaro, sent forth a single champion. Uh, my house, part of the stuff I didn't record is my house really wanted me to put on all my armor and go out and fight, but it is exclusively a camper competition. So uh, we sent forth the mighty warrior Miles in his full set with a shield and sword. And uh, Arco sent forth a, another camper called David with a two-handed vanguard. And they had a bunch of fights. And uh, here's the videos of those now. I completely forgot to record. Oh, God. Okay, so essentially... There's a tie between... Uh, the Mighty House of Hakarl with four capture flags, each worth two points, and one territory flag. And Arco? Arco has three capture flags and three territory flags, so totaling nine. So we're tied, nine, nine. And so to decide this victory, we're going to have a duel between our champion, Miles, and the enemy champion, I don't know his name. Thank you for the signal. Show your respect! Yes. 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 Yes.
Do it again! Do it again! Marios! 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 He's all right! Yeah! He's got armor! There's a chase! Wait, 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 wait. Cardboard. It was a hit. It was a hit. Double death. One last time. Each gets one of these. No armor. Nothing Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Let's go. You're in. Marios! 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 Well, whatever. Oh, Lord. Please go to your house counselor and go to lunch. Go with your house counselor to lunch. After we finished up with lunch, we introduced Follow Your Bliss at another circle up. Uh, just a really quick circle up and introducing the activities for the afternoon and then uh, sending off all of the campers to go on to all their different desired activities. So here's that circle up. <coughs> What does it mean? Follow your bliss means you have an option of multiple activities. Would you like me to tell you what they are? Yes! Yes! Yeah. You don't Sharpie. already know, I guarantee you. Yes, Sharpie? One, you don't know. Oh, we don't need to write it down. Okay. The first one huh? is armory. We don't need to write it down. Yeah. 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 The second one. All right. Middle game. Yeah! We do need we to kill to Meister, go. but also other ones we haven't played before. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, baby. 
but swimming is a at only suggested at times activity. Tell your host freedom. The activity I chose to help out with as much was, of course, Armory. I love Armory so much. Uh, I did a ton of different stuff and helped out a ton of different kids just with little things like cutting bamboo, scoring swords, taping stuff, fixing shield straps, all sorts of different little like hubbub projects. But the two big projects that I really put a lot of energy into were, uh, well, first of all, uh, doing this trident. Uh, both of these large projects were carryovers from yesterday that I started, and then we were trying to finish them today. Um, the trident was a big one. We had the cutouts from yesterday, and so today we're adding bamboo and uh, like taping the edges to make it an actual usable weapon. Um, so yeah, here's a video of that. Okay, uh, run free! Freedom! Alright. kind of Yes. Yeah. But first, I'm gonna get some bamboo for this time. So, I need you to get a tape, a knife, and a sharpie. Okay. And I'll get the bamboo. Gonna, what are we gonna do about the, uh, that here and that? Reinforce it. You'll see, you'll see. Alright. This is the thick one. Tape that down all along the length. And then, once it's time, we'll do, wait. All along that inner length, because that's the dirty side. Oh, wait, are you cutting out that thing? Oh, okay. Should we do it outside? Just barely. Woo! Wow. Uh, yeah, you can maybe take outside. On the table, like this. Wait, do we need a sharpie? Do we need a sharpie? Uh, I like to have it, so I'll take it. <laughs> Off. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now, now they owe me five gold. Wait. I got five gold for that. You got five gold for that? Yeah, it had to be the exact. Let's like. go. Yeah, like, but it had to be like, yeah. exact. <laughs> you need to rip again? Yeah. Well, then you have to pay me two by Thursday. Hey, I'm just wondering. Yo. Uh, would, you, would you like pretzels? Nah, I'm sure. For two gold. For two I mean, gold? I mean, he has infinite gold. He has infinite gold. Yeah, why wouldn't you buy it then? No, I'm in debt. You don't have infinite money. Oh, right. He's in like infinite debt. Yeah, <laughs> I have infinite negative money. Yeah, you have like million, million, million. Oh, that looks sick. I'm the cheapest piece of money. And you know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? Something cool. That's crazy. That is not a perfect point. You know, I'm going for like a pentagon or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. You mean a rectangle? Off. What? Are they called a pentagon? Like those things? That is like... a five-sided shape. No, this is four-sided. Wait, no. That's something else. Uh, you mean a prism? What's it called where it's like... Thank you very much. Alright. That's we... pretty sturdy. Should we cut the old glass stuff? Like, yes. what's like this shape? This shape. I already oh, did that to the last thing. This? Literally no reason. I just want to. Do you mind if I turn it off for like two seconds? What do you need? Oh, flip it. For it's pretty good. Alright. Here's where things are gonna get funky. So, we're gonna score it on the near edge. Like that, and then. Yep. Thank you. Wait, I thought you were gonna help me next. I'm helping him first, but I, I can't help all of you. I'm selling this, whatever this shape is, for five gold. Five. And this for five gold now. <laughs> 
bro. That is one of the larger scams I've ever seen in my entire life. All right. I would uh, recommend you tape the uh, upper half of it. It is pretty intense, yes. I'm a slight bit scared. <laughs> you should be a slight bit scared. And then I'll have my try to hide Five minutes! Five minutes! Can I use this? Can I use this? Can I use this? The cardboard? Sure. You know it's five minutes? Yeah. Oh, it's been three hours. Yeah, uh, it's been like one and a half, almost two. Oh. Where should I start taking? Wait, I thought we had three hours. No, it's a six hour day, three hours in the morning, and then two in the afternoon, for, there's one for lunch. Will they have three Where should I start taping? Uh, hold on, let me do a couple of spots, and then I'll send it over to you. Uh, I can maybe get the shoulders on. I don't know how much else I'll be able to do though. I won't be able to get you a forearm piece today. The shoulders do a lot actually. Yeah, yeah, you definitely should. It doesn't need to be like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Helmets, helmets always last. It's more than you think. But yeah. Okay, so the hardest part is lining up these spikes. And then the second large project which I continued helping on was making this one kid a full set of armor. Uh, <laughs> This is a design very, very similar to the uh, a full set in a day armor that I made. It's a pretty robust, pretty easy to make design. And I actually did use the string method because I really like that method. Um, it doesn't get as good as protection when you move your knees forward, but it's very, very flexible and it's very nice to run in, which is really why I prioritized it. Oh yeah, and the uh, the trident was borrowed for photo shoot reasons. <laughs> we had him just kind of like pantomime out with it. Uh, it's it's a very very cool. There's one other weapon that might be slightly cooler, but other than that, this is probably the coolest weapon at camp. It's an awesome trident. I think I'm gonna actually have to make one of my own just to keep, because it is a uh, it rekindled my love for tridents. Because normally I'm afraid of them just because the tongs break so much. But I did the bamboo really sturdily, and so I think this trident's gonna last quite a few years if I had to bet. So anyway, here's the video of this kid uh, and us making armor for him. So there's that. Uh, you got that one? This one's fine. It's just I wasn't holding it. All right. And you can move your legs and stuff. Do a little turn. Excellent. That's a pretty good set of armor. It's pretty loose on that side, but we can make that tighter if you want. Can we just do a. The thing is, what can happen is if I'm. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm holding my shield. You can get, I can get hit here. Yep. And I can get hit all on this side. Right there. Like a little sword along there. So when he went up, it goes up. It does. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yep. Back away from there. What's happening? Get away. That just can we could tape that actually. Uh, we'll leave it just in case you want to take it off and change the plates. Okay, uh, arms. Arms. Cauldrons is what you need. So, I don't know if I described to you, but you got chest plate, and then you have lower arm, and then you could do upper arm, but you could also just do a really big cauldron that covers it. Okay, so. Um, this one. Is I need this bit here. Yep. 
and then my entire other one. Yep. And then so, it's basically unkillable. The, Except for bludgeoning one. Yeah, and you got little chinks. So like oh, people could get up underneath your skirt and stuff, but it's harder for them to do. Yeah. Yeah, so. Here. Can I borrow it, Sharpie? Thank you. Dickerson. That's me. No, you took it back. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you needed it. I was right. thinking of making something this big. No. I just don't know what. Dagger. Yeah. All right, there are a couple of different designs. There's one really easy one that I know how to do, but there are a couple of different harder ones. Are you okay if we just go with the easy one just for speed? Just because it's really fast. We can get it done in like 10 minutes. Well, is it good? Yes, it's pretty good. Okay. It's, it'll be a lot better than most of the other ones that other kids have, but there are better designs. They just take like an hour or two to make. Okay, yeah, then you go. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So stand up again. Stand up. And when you sit down, fold your things like that. And then they'll fold. Yep, they'll fold in. Yep. Oh. And like print it and like bend forward. I don't think that's gonna work. Ah, you're fine. No, this is not gonna work. I'm getting choked by the cardboard. Oh god. Let's fix it. All right, stand up. Stand up. I'm getting short kind of cardboard that I'm sitting on. Be saved. That didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, boy. Yep. To pay for mache, do we need to cover it all in tape? No, it's actually better if it's not. Oh, okay. Paper mache sticks better to cardboard than it does to tape. Good. Yeah, yeah. What you need, Chief? Oh, like stapling it on better? Um, yeah, like it. One sec, one sec. Do you want it to be? Okay, then, yeah, we've done it. Because the top of the head is, um, you want it to be. Oh, man, he took the knife. What's that? I gotta go get another knife. Give me a couple poses here, really quick. Give us like a spin. What? Spin. Excellent. Excellent set of armor. Look, he's looking, I'm recording his full set of armor. He's missing like, like forearm armor, but we'll make that tomorrow. Also, uh, just to ask you, why do you have a camera? There's a problem. Because I'm making like, videos for YouTube. This like really hurts. Like, Wait, like is it, it sharp? scrapes a lot. Well, it just scrapes a lot when I'm in my arms. Does it? Yeah. So, why do you have cameras? So, we, like, should we put tape there? I mean, yeah, we can fix it. We can try to fix it. But not right now. We're all done for that. But, very good armor. Ready for battle. Excellent, excellent. There's a lot of scratch. Then, after armory ended, we had end of the day circle, and then we were all sent home. It really is a shame that I couldn't show you more of what actually happened during today's games uh, because it was very much so the best games we had all week. There was a lot of action, but all the action, for the most part, ran very smoothly. There were only a few tiny flaws and confusions in the game, but all of those things are very, very, very easy to fix, and that means that tomorrow we're going to fix them tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow morning's games are going to be even better than today's. It really is the case that every day at Adventures in Cardboard just keeps getting better and better and better as things goes on. 
So uh, I'm very hyped for Thursday and Friday. I think it'll be really exciting. But here's video of the end of day circle. All right, and that's it for me today. As always, Adventures in Cardboard. Uh, here's our website, Instagram, and YouTube. Today I'm promoting uh, House of Aquila merch. I didn't realize that they had all these different colors. I particularly like that one, actually. But all these different colors for all the different houses. Uh, it makes me want to go look at, like, Hakarl and see if they have, like, black and red and white and stuff. Uh, but I really like all the different shades of blue that they have for Aquila, the House of the Eagle. Uh, and that can all be found up on their website at investorscardboard.com. So that's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by. Best of luck, and I will see you tomorrow for another daily upload.